Welcome to the Radio 1045 11th Birthday Celebration. Hey everybody, this is Cole from Radio 1045 backstage at the 11th Birthday Celebration, day one, with LIFT. What's happening, guys? Hey, how are you? How are you? Say hello. Really good. Introduce yeah, yourselves. Uh, I'm Ruben. Ruben? I'm, I'm Austin. Austin. And you guys are from... San Diego, California? We're half of us are from San Diego and half are from London. London. Okay, yeah. cool. Cool. So have you been to the, Phil- I know it's Jersey technically, but have you been to the Philadelphia area before? Is this your first time here? This is like our first time here and this is like our first interview. Really? Okay, cool. <laughs> well, yeah. hopefully I, I uh, set some high standards for you guys. <laughs> no, you, you already are. This is insane for So us. how long have yeah. you been in the area today? Like, did um, you just get here? We just here? got here. Like, okay. So you haven't gotten to do any, like, touristy things yet? No, we just seen, like, the roads and stuff. Okay. Yeah. you got to do some touristy things before you leave. Run up the rocky steps and, you know, things like that in Philly. Oh, you know? yeah. yeah. That's here. That's yeah, sure. I want to go and see the bell <laughs> at some point. Yeah. I've heard about that. So let's talk about LIFT. So it stands yeah. for Love in Future Time. Yeah. Right? Love in Future Times. Yeah. Times. Okay. And what, is that, what does that mean? It's... A, it was like a name that like we had lift is the name first which was like because in our music in our music it's like our mission statement to want to like lift people up that are like us that are similar to us and have grown up with similar problems to us that's really cool and then and then we wanted to make it an acronym because we liked how it looked and love and future time has just ended up being like what made sense because we all live for like the prospect of love and future times and that's why we do this so awesome i love yeah. that i love that you guys are not just playing music but you're trying to help other people out which is really cool and your yeah. fans call themselves or you call them what, the dead kids yeah right? dead kids yeah and where did that come from <laughs> i know i'm asking the hard-hitting no questions. no no. we're like in a we're in a collective like an artist collective called uh dead 30. okay and um we're all like we all grew up like doing music for a similar reason and like growing up we all grew up in different music scenes like um jamal our drummer grew up in like a gospel scene playing music at church and then we grew up like in um the punk scene in san diego and like for us our scene being a part of a scene was like such a um like meaningful thing for for us because like in high school we we weren't like necessarily the kids that fit in per se like absolutely and we had like a lot of identity problems and like emotional problems growing up and being a part of a scene is what like and being a being able to be a part of a music scene is what made us feel alive. Yeah, it's a community. Your fans feel like they're not just Yeah. Like in the background, they're part of what you are, which is really cool. Yeah. I love that. So dead kids are just like our fans are just people that like or the reason we call them dead kids is because they're like us and for this music like the music's what's keeping them alive and it's like what gives them a definitive sense of feeling alive in their identity and stuff. That's very but. cool. And there's a bunch of uh uh, songs that have been coming out, right? Yeah, we you guys ha- are like releasing a new song. What is it? Every month yeah, you've yeah. been releasing a new song. So yeah, you, and I we just released. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> we just yeah. released our first EP yeah. as well. We Autopsy. just put out our first EP. And what is that called? Uh, it's called Autopsy. Yeah. Autopsy. Okay, so it goes along with the whole the whole theme, which is cool. And this can be found everywhere. Yeah, you get music. just on the streaming streaming platforms awesome. like Apple Music. And your Spotify. music is very versatile, which is really cool. It's a it's a mixture of like, there's a lot of hip hop influences in there, but mm. definitely like you mentioned the punk thing. There's definitely a lot of rock in there too, which is really cool. I love I love the sound. I'm yeah. really excited oh, to see you, you guys so play today. Um, and your boss, kind of, you have a cooler boss than most people, right? Your boss is like Pete Wentz from Fall Out Boy. <laughs> yeah, right? well, we don't really have like a a, a boss. <laughs> But he um, signed you. To the, he signed to the us, label. and it was and like a of, uh, well, formerly of Panic at the Disco, right? Yeah, yeah. Like he's we did, our day-to-day manager. Yeah, he's Spencer's our awesome. manager. That's so cool. And Pete is like a is like a, a mentor for us, and we've done like a deal with his label and a label called Photo Finish and our own label, and done like a three-way. So, do those so. guys call you up personally when they tell you they want you to be a part of it? You get a call, and it says like. Pete Wentz on your cell phone or that's like more yeah we a, talk no we talk to them like personally we talk to Spencer like every minute and then like Pete comes to our rehearsals and stuff and that's like, awesome gives us advice and shit very cool very yeah. cool so they're taking the new music discovery stage today 2 30 everybody better come out the dead kids will be representing here in Philly I know that yeah and uh and we'll see you guys later too you're open there's uh some dates with fallout boy right mm-hmm. bishop briggs i think i saw yeah bishop briggs this Doing month and then warp tour, tour. Yeah, warp tour very cool yeah. very cool warp tour that's awesome well you guys can say that you were here 
first, saw them first before everybody else was like, I'm a dead kid. But guess what? The real dead kids. We know who they are, right? <laughs> thank you so much, man. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you for having us. All right, us. guys. Grab some lottery tickets. Scratch them off. Uh, thank you guys all for coming out. And uh, we will see these guys on stage at 2.30, New Music Discovery Stage.